you're trying to sell your products but you're having difficulties in understanding how people interact with them. You've seen it, in your niche, there are people that are selling very well. Whether there's a recession, whether people are changing their consumer behavior, some of your competitors are always doing very well from a commercial point of view. They are a magnet for customers. And you want to do the same. Recently, I've been reading a book that was advised as one of the best and most important books written in the last 10 years for marketing. And as my job is to dress products and make brands that sell, I want to share with you all the six different weapons of influence that I found in this book. This book is Influence, the Psychology of Persuasion, which is a book of Robert Cialdini. And in this video, I will just try to summarize all the concept that I got from this book and apply them to marketing and selling your products, both online and offline. So whether you're selling candles, homemade honey, beer, wine, homemade cosmetics, and you want to understand how customers get attracted to the brand that you're building, then this is the right video for you. So hello everybody, my name is Stefano from Labelado and if you didn't yet, consider subscribing to this channel and hitting the notification bell so you won't miss any future videos about branding your products, creating beautiful packaging and selling it to your customers. So without further ado, let's get through this. So we are talking about weapons of influence and the very first weapon is reciprocity. Reciprocity is a trade. Have you ever been stopped by a social company that is working on the street? Someone that stops you and asks you for questions? But before asking you questions or the donation, so they will ask you for money in the end, they will give you a free gift. Think about Eric Krishnas. They give you a rose, for example. What happens? This is a psychological trick. When you receive that gift, that rose, that small book, that leaflet, you feel like you are in debt with the other person with the giver. So what happens? You feel that you need to give something. And this is a very human feeling. Some people can just reject it straight away, but not everyone. Not everyone while facing another person, especially if there are other people around, you feel like giving that person what he, what she is really asking for. So if they are asking for a donation, you will give them money. So if you're doing good, how can you use this to get more customers or to get more from your customers? The thing you can do is to give something away for free, anything. So I wouldn't start like giving away samples of your product if you, th that's a very huge investment, you know. Uh, you can give something that is actually not physical. So I will give you an example. Let's think about your brand is selling some food, some particular kind of special food. And what you can do is to give away for free on your website, on your social networks, a PDF where you wrote some cooking recipes that will use your kind of product. And you say that you're giving it away for free. If you're lucky, people will see it, check it, and understand that you gave away something that was worthy. If you're offline, this rule can be applied as following. You are, for example, at an expo or at a festival in your hometown or another town, and you there can actually give away free samples because you have physical products with you, and by giving small samples and calling out people to taste your product, people will feel like giving something in exchange. So if you have been very generous by giving your products away, even for free, people will feel to pay you back. So the next tip from influence is commitment and consistency. 
And with that, I'm not just talking about you as a salesperson of your company to be consistent and committed to the action of actually selling your product or improving your product. I'm talking about the behavior of your final customer. Think of it. When you make a decision, the idea behind this goes like this. If you make a decision, you start becoming more committed to it because you don't want other people that think that you are wrong. This applies very well to betting, for example. You bet on a particular horse that is racing and once you bought the ticket, you feel more like that horse will win because you want to be linear with your decisions. You don't want other people to think that you were wrong. So commitment and consistency is something that you can trick people in. This applies very well when you're live with a customer. So let's say that you're selling a product that is healthy for them. If you see someone that is very fit, for example, and you're selling like a protein shake or something just for their well-being and they come to you, start complimenting them. Like if, if you see that they are very fit, start making questions like, you're very fit, what you're doing? And probably they will say, okay, uh, well, I'm running three times a week. Start making them feel comfortable with themselves. And when they are into that mindset, mindset that commitment, they are talking uh, in front of other people, in front of you as a salesperson of your company or other people around like their girlfriend, their boyfriend, they need to be consistent. So once you start presenting to them your product, understand what they said. If they are a very healthy person, your product is the best match for them. They cannot resist it. So start talking about all the characteristics of your product that are connected to what they just said. And while you're there, give a little thing for free. So you're applying also our first tip about reciprocity. The third tip is to use social proof. Social proofing is something that we are hearing a lot today. Social proof is one of the strongest strategy that you can use to enhance the quality of your products or just to make more sales. Just think of it. You're on Amazon and you're trying to buy, purchase a book. And you see two books, both of them seems interesting from their title and from their description. But one of those books has very few reviews and the other has hundreds. What are you going to do? You're going to trust the social proof of hundreds of people that purchased that book and gave it a very good review. And talking about reviews, if you like this video, please hit the like button so other people will find it and enjoy it as well. So think the same about your products. Whether you're selling beer, jams, honey, cosmetics, candles, uh, bath bombs, you need to understand that this trick is very simple to use online. So go on your website and as you've seen probably in other websites, you can see that at a certain point of the homepage, there's a section where there are smiling faces of people that are reviewing the product or they purchase one of those softwares, widgets online that can give to your actual customers, if you have an e-commerce website, an opportunity to review your product. Having a lot of positive reviews on your website will make other people think, first of all, other people bought this product. So this product is not fake. And trust me, some people online, if they don't see that, they will not trust your website. Secondly, if there are a lot of positive reviews, people will see that that product is very valuable. And another good thing is that your customers sometimes are your best salesperson because maybe one of, the, one of those customers just reviewed something with some tips you were never thinking of. So thank you for watching this video. Remember to comment down below if you are willing to use one of these techniques to sell your product or if you ever recognize someone else using these techniques to sell you a product. 
Leave a like if you liked the video and if you didn't yet consider subscribing to this channel and hitting the notification bell so you won't miss any future videos. In this video I gave you three of the six tips that you can find in Influence the Psychology of Persuasion. In the next video of this series you will find the other three tips. So thank you guys for watching again and as always love you all. Ciao!